It's a damn piano. Another piano. Showing you how we're gonna dismantle this piano is the way to knock it out. I'm not even knocking on the door. Keller, Texas, Fort Worth, kind of. Sometimes it doesn't really matter. And uh, the guy tells me to come out to remove that bad boy right there. That's what you call an upright piano, which is also called a back killer, if you don't do it right. Ma'am, don't laugh at that. We're straight professionals here. All right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, there are steps and ways to do this. I'm a trained professional. I got my license from Walmart about two weeks ago. Uh, but actually, ma'am, you saw me off a YouTube video and I saw the how we remove them. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. And you liked our style. Okay, now your husband is totally overdoing it. This, this is now he's just up. totally overdoing it. He's brought every tool imaginable. This is I've dreamed about. Now, what is this, sir? What is this? What is it? What, 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 what do you call this? It's a wujiu wujizuza bar. I have no idea what it is. Okay. I have been aiming. So, the only part of this is that when we do pull it, I'm going to pull it out to here, so yeah. there's there's no yeah, lifting we, or nothing We did it pulling it back and forth and made marks on the floor. Yeah. But the floor was brand new, so it might have been soft, so I'm not going to so it. Let's pull it out. Uh, rule number one is pull it away from the wall, and that's uh, when we tell people they should put it on a carpet or something like that. But they didn't know. They're new to piano ownership, okay? Okay, so let's bring it out really slow, bro. Things weighing about 750 right now. I can tell I am a straight professional. I know the weight of everything. For instance, this cover weighs 32 pounds. That's bad. All right, so we work ourselves from the top to the bottom. Top to the bottom. Rule number one. Stage one of messing up a. a uh, by the way, we didn't bring our sledgehammer today, so. The homeowner, let me borrow the sledge. That's like brother. Did we get that? We got that loud enough? For the video, 120 pounds. Um, the next thing you know is the uh, the kickboard. <laughs> Kickboard's on the knee. So just hit it one good time. Hit it several times. And uh, usually it just comes out. Hey guys, I'll work out with you. 
You're disappointed they get a paint. I, I think the homeowner's yeah, disappointed. Gotta be honest with you, this is his tool. <laughs> this is his tool. This is his tool, and we've only used his tools because I forgot my slave. But we did bring, sir. We did bring that bad boy. That's gonna get it out of here. So we brought that. This one's a light one. I've done a thousand pound one. You can usually tell. You can't move them. You gotta work on hard. But it's the same thing. Yeah. So look, that leg fell off, but now we're on balance, so we gotta get this off, okay? We gotta get it. You see the leg? It's not here. So what do you mean about that? I like came up with that piece. You see what I'm saying? So now it's in balance, so we gotta keep it off. We can get off that way. All right, from here, look, one, two, three, four brackets. I'm gonna knock that out, and then get the brackets off. All right, so here, let me tell you what's going on. We lost the leg. Now the only thing that's holding this is that leg, and that little platform, it's got four wheels on it, but that's not balancing it, because that part wasn't here, it just fall right over. And that's the other leg, what we call the other leg right there. Um, so, ma'am, I don't know why you're laughing. This is straight professional here. Um, so what we're gonna do is knock this out, try to get this off, and maybe we're money, because this weighs about 150 pounds itself. So we'll try that right now. I do got I do got sweat, by the way. I got sweat coming down my face. That means whenever you have sweat, that means you're working hard. So we got that going. <laughs> the homeowner was bothering him, so he got he got the the biggest pink tool ever, which was a butter knife. Let's play with this. <laughs> That's funny. You see, this piece always comes out. I damaged it so much; it just doesn't work. It's weird. It's like so easy to come out, but on this one, it's hard. It's amazing. You see that? Uh huh. Once it comes out. Like... It's weird. These I usually hit out in the first, this is the first piece that always comes out. Yeah, it's my How much do you think it weighs now? Uh, we brought it down to about 400 pounds. Which, oh, that piece that he carried out, that was very heavy. His dad was a master plumber, left him 2.5 acres. Nice. You see his house. Uh, I can He's imagine. a big old 
you know. <laughs> and really nice guy, he showed me everything. Got a big old bar in the back. Yeah. The second bar of the day, but his is just huge. His is like the size of, like I guess from like, from here, no, maybe from this wall to that wall, almost to the street. Just the it's a bar, building it's there. a bar. Wow. Yeah, Attached to his house. Yeah. And his house is about the size of your house, you know? It's about yeah. the size of your house, a little bigger, but Bar he just took house. advantage of the, the yeah. 2.5 acres, you know? He's got it nice. Yeah, uh, we're in this cookie cutter crowd. Yeah, $95,000 truck, F-350, 7.3 diesel, a gas, 7.3 gas. Um, Badass wheels on it, not the, not my my type of his, vehicle. Did his dad own the company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it got passed away and just yeah. left him that. And then uh, he's got his dad's old uh, Winnebago. I don't know, they're yeah. not called Winnebago's, they're homes now, you know, it's beautiful. And then the back lowers down. He's got a four wheeler inside of it. So put oh it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toy yeah. hauler. Toy hauler. Yeah. And uh, he had these two cool lights. I noticed that when we pulled up to his house, it was like a, you drive into his house. These two cool lights outside. They had like three little, you know, it's a pole with three lights on it. It looked really classy. It was really cool looking house. I told him, I said, dude, that's awesome, bro. That's the way to live right here. Yeah, my dad worked 45 something years, plumbing, man, you know, passed away. That's what he did. You haven't inherited. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, but you can tell he's taking care of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. He said, oh, grass is cut really nice. Mm -hmm. really oh, how old's the guy? Huh? How old's the guy? Dude, I think he's younger than me. I think he's like 42. <laughs> he's in his 40s. Wow. But I, I don't think he's going to make it to 55, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's a big boy. Yeah. About 380. Dang. About your height, you're what, 5'10", something like that? 6'2". Six, 6'2", oh, six, so you're, you're taller than me. <laughs> you're taller than me, but he's not, he's not taller than me. Okay, now you look taller, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not taller than me. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I was, and he was breathing hard. He was a nice guy. No, no reason to say anything, especially he watches this video. You're a nice guy, I like you a lot. <laughs> uh, but, uh, get a badass bar. Marble. So what all else do y'all pick up? Everything in here. Everything. Okay. Everything that you that you can lift. Yeah, everything. We do house full cleanouts, garage cleanouts. That's our main thing. Garage cleanouts. Sidgy to my mom's house. Yeah. Oh, we see them worse. I mean, we see them. We yeah. see them bad, 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 like bad. We uh, just did one here in Blue Mound. So I'm not in Blue Mound. I mean, but yeah, I'm turning around here. right up the street from here, and um, you're in Park Vista. Park Glen. Park Glen. Park area, okay. So we just did one in Blue Mount and was she was 82 right? and 85 years old. Mm -hmm. Dixie and James. The city calls me, city services calls me out to just do a normal clean out. I mean, I mean a, a pickup of a stove and a microwave. When I get in there, geez, man, mm -hmm. they should be, they should be in a nursing home, man. This smells so bad. Oh, I mean, no. the smell. It's cluttered. Mm -hmm. They offered me $150 for a stove in the microwave. The city did. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I, I'm not going to do this house. $150, you know how bad it is in there? I got mad with this guy in the city. I told him, dude, you know, $150, are you serious? I said, y'all pay me fair. Give me something. They said, our max is $750. I said, give me that and I'll clean out the whole house. I did a $3,000 job for them and I cleaned it all out and I replaced all their furniture for them too. Just with junk I get, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Good stuff. I gave him like a $6,000 table too, that I got from some rich person, you know? I've had it in my warehouse for like two years. Um, so you just keep what you can. Yeah, you can. yeah, yeah, if it's, if it's like, like these are nice couches, I mean, but there's people that honestly, give me nicer stuff. Yeah. It's crazy. And- um, All of a sudden they don't want to deal with stuff. No, no, they're just too rich, man. They're just too rich. They're just too rich. Thank you. you understand what I see? They're just too rich. I, I tell this guy, he, he pulls up and he's like, because he just started with me. And he, 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 we go to people's houses and he's like, that's a beautiful home. I'm like, boy, I've seen it all. I've seen it where I got lost in the house where I'm like, hello? <laughs> Sir? I'm like, what? I've seen it all. And uh, people will get rid of like that couch to replace that $4,000 couch to replace it with a $14,000 couch. And I'll keep the couch. And I gave the guy a leather couch. I gave him a leather couch. I gave him a table with four chairs, 
expensive ass looking chairs and a new refrigerator. I, I didn't pay nothing for it. As a yeah. matter of fact, it helped me out. I got the crap out of my garage. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, they started crying when they came in. We did a whole YouTube video out of it. It'll be coming out soon because you saw my yeah. videos, right? Yeah. yeah. Just wait. I, I still got like, we just did it, so I still got like 30 more hours of video after preview just mm -hmm. to get it. It's a long video. I had six cameras running at one time. 11 companies came out to help me. They all work for free. And uh, it's pretty cool. Channel Channel 8 News was out there. They did a little Sounds thing. Sounds like he needs a drone to do his outside stuff. Bruh. I did have one and it took off on me. <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with it. It was too long of a setup. I'm in and out, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's too long of a setup. It takes me like 15 minutes messing with it. By that time, I'm not in your house to do a shot, you know? Come to the house here in uh, Keller, Texas, where I did a piano removal. Goddamn drone, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, come on down! This one took off on me. It took off on me, I'm just watching it going, $400. <laughs> Are yeah. we gonna chase it? And George was in the time. He goes, nah, let's not chase. Let's just finish this job. I'm like, damn it, dude. Just got it like a week. We shot two videos with it. Yeah, we're, we're about paying. to go to Mexico and he's scared to take his drone. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do it. Are you good at driving it? Yeah, see, no, we were just beginners. Yeah. It'll take me about, you know, two, three weeks to learn all the really yeah. good stuff, you know? The but DJI stuff is kind of hard to yeah. screw up. Right? That's a DJI camera right there. I got four of those in the truck right now. Those are cool. The GoPro 9 is a better camera. Way superior over that thing. Do you have a DJI or a GoPro? Uh, the, the, the drone's a DJI. Yeah, and it has camera built in it, right? Mm -hmm. The Karma drone. 4K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm telling you, this in 4K will not beat my GoPro 9. But I use this one because it's so much easier to deal with. Oh my God, this one button. Right we're recording, you know? One button we're recording already. And the other one you have to power on, hit record. The only thing I don't like this one is not voice activated. So I, I think it's. Stop recording. Oh. Yeah. Okay, connect that headset. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So let's pull it out one more time, okay? Okay. That side. I'm going to go to this side. Try to lift it. I want to minimize it. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Just look, look, look right here. Look right here. Don't forget this bar. Every panel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Good job. All right, bro. Get this out of the way. Slide that thing underneath. The four way? Yeah. Okay. I got something to say. I'm just gonna lift up, okay? Okay. What are you doing? No, we're not lifting up. Are you kidding? We're killing. Oh, we're not? No, I'm gonna lift up. You just slide it in. Oh, shit, okay. Okay? One, two. Okay, right there? Yeah. I get on the other. Okay. Hey, boss, man, you want to help out here? So the dog. Yeah, scoot the dog. Hey, we're gonna lift. Okay. Okay. Scoot it back. Yeah, scoot in the middle. One. Lift it just for a second. Go up. Set it back down. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'm good with it. Hold on to it, boss. Come over here. Come over here. Grab it together. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and both sit that in the center if he wants to. Hey, you gonna lift with me? Oh, we're, we broke the four way. No, we broke the four way. That's what we did when we moved in here. Did we? Yeah, we broke the four way. Four is no good. Uh, go ahead. Let's pick it up and see if we can sit in the center. Center. Okay. Ready? Right there. Now I got another little shitty one. No, no, no. Let's see how far we can get away with this. Well, why didn't you just tell me you could lift? Well, I can't really. He's much. not so right, Let's get that carpet out of the way. Is it caught? Is it off? 
some room in there while I hold it? Where are we putting it? Um, we're gonna, I'd like to lay it down. I got it. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, put the chairs back. Move that, um, that mattress. I was wondering what the inside of the sun would be. Unless two chairs, yeah, stick them in there. I managed to reverse the truck. I got the piano leaned on me right now. It's not so bad. Uh, it's just at a pivotal uh, position right now, so it's it's not heavy at all. I'm not even pushing on it. And my boy is kind of straightening out there. Hey, brother, you know what? Just to let you know, I want to lay it down. Yeah. So, you, you see where that chair is at, right? It'll fit where that chair, you see what I mean? If I lay it down, that, that, that's the length of it, yeah. You see what I mean? So take the mattress out. Take the mattress out. We can lay the mattress on top of it. Yeah, there you go. Throw that back there on top. Throw it back there on top. So we're kind of just making room right now. Yeah, throw everything back there. All that loose stuff. Get that mattress out. We can throw it in last. And you probably want to get rid of the keyboard too. Stand up the keyboard. We're, this is the home stretch, brother. Yeah, there you go. That's not so bad. We've been here a little longer. We didn't want to mess up the uh, floors. So we used the dolly, which absolutely broke. Well, it was a cheap ass dolly that I actually got from another junk removal. And uh, yeah, it broke. It broke on us. Okay. And we're just having trouble struggling. So you're not gonna, we're gonna just gonna pause the video for right now. That's what I heard, or maybe y'all heard her in the background. All right, brother, let's put this dolly in there, close the doors, put up everything, let's charge them a million dollars. <laughs> Ma'am, your bill for this piano will be $1.1 million. What do you think of that? Oh. <laughs> Can't do it. 200 even, man. 200. Thank you, baby. Ah, I'm gonna give this to my boy here. Give it to him. Hey, Nate. Another tip, oh, boy. Thank you. Job, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Did y'all right. take I'm care not, of everything else? Okay, y'all took everything. Yeah, Everything's good. Okay, thank you so much. You yes, ma'am. Please do. Okay. <sighs> thank you. Alrighty. Very easy. There is still a lot of room in the trailer, but I'm gonna in this video saying that stacking it upright makes a big difference. And uh, the new boy did not stack it that good, but it's all right. He's learning. He's learning. He'll get used to it. All right, guys. That's going to end it for me. That's the way to remove a piano from a home. That's the way to remove a piano from a home. It's only $200, a flat fee. We had a little harder time just because we didn't want to ruin the floor, okay? Don't forget, guys, if you like these videos, subscribe over there to the right side. On the left side, check out my other videos. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.